Hey everybody, Animal Man here. Today we're going to do another blacksmithing project for you. We're going to take an old fire extinguisher and we're going to cut this to make a crucible to melt aluminum cans. We're going to get that aluminum and we can use it to cast all kinds of different cool things. So you should, probably should not do this at home. It's probably going to be very, very dangerous. I'm going to be as careful as I can. That being said, let's go have some fun. I've been wanting to do this for months. So the first step I need to do here is to totally empty out this can. That way there's no more pressure in there. Because the last thing you want is to there be pressure in here and uh, you cut through it and for it to blow up on you, go in your face and everything. That's that's no good. I guess we're good. I guess it is done. All right, the gloves and goggles are on. We'll see what happens. Here's the scariest part for me. Check this out, I did not expect this. All that in here. I had no idea what to expect from this. I want this cut even with the top of this white line here. So I'm just gonna recut it now. I got all the powder taken out. Excellent. So, that's where it's gonna go. I'm gonna surround it by coal. I'm going to light this up, try to heat it up, and see if we can melt down some cans. Now I've got whole tons of cans I've collected. And this should fit in there, like, perfectly. Yeah, this will be perfect. Super excited. Get out of there. Now, I'm going to light this up. I have no idea how hot this is going to get. I think it'll get hot enough to melt aluminum because that doesn't need a very, uh, very high melting point or anything. And there's a possibility, possibility, this crucible, because I think it's aluminum too, this just may, may melt through. I don't know. But that may happen. We might have to scratch this. We will see. Man, that is flipping hot. All right, things are going well. It's been on about five. The flames have burned down. The coals are lit all the way around. I'm going to grab a can and see if, uh, if we can't melt the sucker. Ah. Check this out. The whole crucible just collapsed and melted. No. The whole thing. Well, that's it for that. Back to the drawing board. So I have all these old stainless steel water bottles that I've got at yard sales and such. So I found this one. This one will be wide enough to be a crucible. It's hard, it's always hard to tell if they're aluminum or steel. I believe, because of the design of this, this should be stainless steel. So I'm going to try to cut it right about here and uh, we'll see what happens this time with this one. Here we go. I think. Well, we'll see what happens this time. If this doesn't work, I, I'm pretty much out of bright ideas. I, I have no idea what else to grab. Um, cast iron is the thing that comes to mind, but I don't have anything that's the right shape. I'd have to order it. So hopefully this will work. We'll see. I mean, we'll find out soon. All right, so far so good. I'm going to try to put a can in there. I, uh, I think this definitely is steel because it would have melted out already before aluminum because of how thin this is compared to the fire extinguisher. So I'm going to get a can, put a can in there, see if we can melt it. Worst comes to worst, if this whole thing collapses again, we just wasted some cans, right? So. Alright, wish us luck. Dude! Dude, did that just work? That just freaking worked. The can just disappeared. That is so cool. I want you guys to witness firsthand the insanity.
Boom, it's gone. 